Well, some communities across Detroit are noticing changes as the city prepares to introduce solar neighborhoods in some areas. Yeah, this project has been in the works about a year and a half now, and it is one the city staff says will ultimately help make Detroit more sustainable. Some neighbors I spoke with today are convinced that project will also make their blocks safer. It was like three or four right there. Along Almond Street on Detroit's east side, neighbors are pointing out signs of change. There was one over here, a white house that's gone. Venus Hadley's been watching vacant homes be demolished along her block as the city of Detroit prepares to develop this area into one of its solar neighborhoods. And it was one, two doors down from me. Were they an eyesore? Were they neighborhood nuisances? Yeah, no one never moved into them no more. Yeah, they, but they was bad. Right now, phase one of Detroit's Solar Neighborhoods project is underway. City staff says the mission is doing something good for the planet and good for the neighborhoods by installing solar fields in areas that want them. Any Detroiter knows that some, some of our neighborhoods are one and two houses on the block. Uh, those neighbors worked with the city and said, hey, um, I will take your voluntary buyout. I would like to move to a neighborhood that's more dense. Tepfira Rushton is Detroit's director of sustainability. She says five communities have been identified for the Solar Neighborhood Project. Among them in phase one, Gratiot Findlay, State Fair, and here in the Van Dyke Lynch area. Phase two will include Greenfield Park, I-75 and McNichols, and the Houston Whittier Hayes area. Each neighborhood is getting between 15 and 25,000 from the city, from this project that um, is going into their homes. Residents who decide to remain in the Detroit solar neighborhoods are being offered energy efficient upgrades to their homes. Hadley's already had a new roof installed outside this week and inside this just too small for me and I'm looking forward to that refrigerator. A new energy efficient furnace, water heater and new windows are also on the way. About 265 houses are getting home improvements and about 165 acres of land will become solar fields. Hadley says she and her neighbors are looking forward to watching the project develop. We're all just excited, plain and simple. Now, you know, as far as the timeline, Detroit's Office of Sustainability says all of those home upgrades should be completed in the next year. First, solar infrastructure is expected to go in the ground by late summer, and the first solar park should be up and running by second quarter of next year. I love Miss Hadley and her energy. Right. She was oh, all like so right. excited. She's got a lot of energy, but I tell you, she was so nervous. Was she? Well, she did great. Down. She did a great job. Oh, you wouldn't have known. Yeah. No, you did she a good job. <laughs> yeah, she was. She was yeah, absolutely. I tell you, what's not natural. Oh, mm, here we go. Snow in April. Snow in April. I mean, oh my gosh. It's a little chilly. It was so cold outside Miss Hadley's house, mm -hmm. and then at one point it was sunny, and another point. The it frozen wasn't. rain started to come down and then the snow. It was crazy. I saw out you there. outside and then I saw you back inside our house. Because You're like, Miss Hadley, cold. can I come <laughs> inside? <laughs> I, it was cold. Yeah. I know. And then the wind was just, you know, yeah. 